Everyone loves telling the one joke that gets the whole room laughing, but it's a hard task. How do you know which zingers are going to make people chuckle and which are destined to sink like an anchor? So you don't have to risk looking like an idiot by telling another bad joke. A group of scientists have figured out the funniest jokes ever. It should be noted that the people being told the jokes by researchers at Oxford University were undergraduates at the London School of Economics, so they might prefer highbrow gags. We here at Come Along have put together our list of the 10 funniest jokes ever. Some of the jokes are long, some are short, and two feature bears for some reason. But are they really the funniest jokes in the world? You decide. 1. A guy meets a sex worker in a bar. She says, This is your lucky night. I've got a special game for you. I'll do absolutely anything you want for 300 pounds, as long as you can say it in three words. The guy replies, Hey, why not? He pulls his wallet out of his pocket and lays $300 on the bar and says slowly, Paint my house. 2. Two liars were talking together. First, my father built 1,550 miles of the 101 freeway in west of US lonely one night. Second, that's nothing, but I've been born out of my mother's ass. First, it's impossible, I don't believe you. Second, shut up. I believe you're 1,550 miles distance, but you don't believe my only four inches length? Three, a wife and her husband were sleeping. In the middle of the night, the husband farted. Next morning, the guy told his wife, last night, I dreamed that I bought a Mercedes. His wife said, that's right, and you chewed it for me. Four, question. Who's the most skillful goalkeeper in the world? Answer, all women. They never allow any ball enters. Five, little April was not the best student in Sunday school. Usually she slept through the class. One day, the teacher called on her while she was napping. Tell me, April, who created the universe? When April didn't stir, little Johnny, a boy seated in the chair behind her, took a pen and jabbed her in the rear. God almighty, shouted April, and the teacher said, very good, and April fell back asleep. A while later, the teacher asked April, who is our Lord and Savior? But April didn't even stir from her slumber. Once again, Johnny came to the rescue and stuck her again. Jesus Christ, shouted April, and the teacher said, very good, and April fell back to sleep. Then the teacher asked a third question. What did Eve say to Adam after she had her 23rd child? And again, Johnny jabbed her with the pen. This time, April jumped up and shouted, If you stick that effing thing in me one more time, I'll break it in half and stick it up your arse. The teacher fainted. 6. Teacher. Whoever answers my question can go home. One boy throws his bag out of the window. Teacher. Who just threw that? Boy. Me. I'm going home now. 7. A man sat down at a bar and told the bartender, I bet you $300 I can piss into the cup all the way over there on the other side of the bar and not miss a single drop. The bartender said, there is no way you can do that. Sure, I'll bet you $300. The man then begins to undo his pants and begins pissing. He starts pissing all over the bar and spraying on the bottles and the bartender, not making a single drop in the cup. The bartender starts smiling and laughing and says, that's it, you owe me $300. The man then gets up and walks over to the pool table and starts laughing and shaking hands with the men standing there. He walks back to the bar, sits down and starts laughing at the bartender and hands him the money. The bartender asks, why are you laughing? You just lost the bet. The man said, I'm laughing because I bet those guys over there $1,000 that I could piss all over you and your bar and you would still be laughing when I was done. Eight, a new teacher was trying to make use of her psychology course. She started her class by saying, everyone who thinks they're stupid, stand up. After a few seconds, little Johnny stood up. The teacher said, do you think you're stupid, little Johnny? No, ma'am, but I hate to see you standing there all by yourself. Nine, one morning when I was going out of the house, I met my neighbor's daughter who was pregnant. When I returned home, I saw her father closing the door. I told him, your daughter hasn't married yet. I wonder how it is possible a girl without a husband can be pregnant. For a moment, her father with a bitter smile said, she isn't pregnant. It's all wind in her belly. She farts and will recover. Next year, perchance, I saw the same girl with a baby in her arms. Next day, when I was going out, facing her father. So I told him, I saw your daughter with her fart in her arms. 10. An 85-year-old man was requested by his doctor for a sperm count as part of his physical exam. The doctor gave the man a jar and said, take this home and bring back a semen sample tomorrow. The next day, the 85-year-old man reappeared at the doctor's office and gave him the jar. 
which was as clean and empty as on the previous day. The doctor asked what happened, and the man explained, well, doc, it's like this. First, I tried it with my right hand, nothing. Then I tried it with my left hand, but still nothing. Then I asked my wife for help. She tried it with her right hand, then her left hand, still nothing. She tried with her mouth, first with her teeth in, then with her teeth out, still nothing. We even called up Arlene, the lady next door, and she tried too. First with both her hands, then her armpit, and she even tried squeezing it in between her knees, but still nothing. The doctor was shocked. You asked your neighbor? The old man replied, yep, none of us could get the jar open. Let us know what you think in the comment section down below, and we'll pin our favorite to the top. Don't forget to give us a like if you enjoyed this video. We have a ton of more interesting videos on Come Along, so make sure to hit the red subscribe button and come along and join us for the ride. Also, hit the notifications button if you haven't already to get notified almost every single day with our newer videos. Thank you so much for watching.